you know, and I just want people to understand the scope of this, um, you know, of this, this malice, this hatred. Like, think about it like this. It's, it's just like a relationship uh, with a man and woman. The difference is, uh, you know, somebody came and got you. So think about this. I mean, all my life, I invented my first product at the age of eight years old, man. Eight. I invented dog weights. I found a um, name of a company uh, called 411. I want to say it was in New York. Submitted that prototype and the drawing to them. And uh, they said, uh, the guy called and said, well, for $2,500, we can get a patent and we think we can sell this. I told my dad, and he said, uh, um, oh, he won't take the easy way out. He, he started yelling at him. Hey, Bessie! Hey, Bessie! He, he won't take the easy way out. He told me, you, you'll never, we'll never support that shit. You're going to suffer in life. You're going to suffer worse than I suffer. I mean, that's his mentality. Just because I wanted to, I didn't have no bad intentions for the nigga or saying the shit on him. I'm like, man, I got this idea. Let's, oh. Ideas are disrespectful to these people. Um, man, I just can't explain it. Like, I remember I used to, when I was five, you know, when I really, really, really can remember having my creative genius. And uh, instead of birthday cards, like dollar store birthday cards, they go to, you know, uh, CVS and they buy a card for $5. You get that same card in dollar store for a dollar. Well, anyway, they believe in shit like that. So... You know, in, in school, when you when you young in school, as my mother always knew, but it didn't apply to me. But when you're young in school, they want you to make everything. You know what I mean? You don't, they don't buy shit. You know, if you got a card and it's Father's Day, you you make a card, right? So I'm following protocol. I'm following what I learned in school. So for my uh, mother, I was five years old. I don't know how old she was, but I handmade her a card. It took me six or seven hours to handmake the card. I put it up there and... Uh, the next morning, they very traditional family. They had a, a breakfast or some shit. It might have not have been her birthday. It might have been like Christmas, somewhat. You know, the rest of them fake ass family members come over. So, uh, all the cars, everybody. You know, Betsy, you got you got nice cars. For some reason, people in that family think she has a wonderful life, and her husband buys her everything they want. And they're just so in love, and that's just just not the truth. You know, uh, whatever she gets come with a price, like everybody else. You know, you can be reminded of it, and he going to talk to you like you ain't shit. Well, anyway, uh, you know, the whole family there, and all of the cards that she got for Christmas are on the coffee table, all except one. And that one card is my card. Um, when I'm like, Mama, where my card at? I don't know where it's at. I'm looking around. I go to throw something in the trash. My card in the trash with the broke up eggs and shit that they cook for the morning for the breakfast. That shit on top of my card. People are like, man, they ain't they ain't nothing. Why shouldn't you throw everybody else shit away? It took me six hours to make that card. It took a nigga ten minutes to go buy one. That card in the store don't say what 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 I have to say in my heart. Um, she did that in my entire life. I never bought her a card. I always hand make card, and every year she throw them away. I mean, I just don't. I mean, what was your goal in that shit like? I don't understand what, you know, but then she got, when my daughter was born and her grandsons were born, when they handmade her shit, she put that shit on the um, refrigerator, you know. I mean, all my life, they just been so, like, really, really hateful about two things. One, uh, me wanting to know who my mother was, and two, me being creative. Like, if you don't, Fuck your money up like that. If you don't go back, coach bags, and they hate you. Like if you, you know, I hand make shit. You know, they don't, they don't like that. Like, but they, that's the shit she teach a motherfucker at school. When they got math class and shit, they don't give them. They give them, they give them motherfuckers a uh, red this and glue and all that. I'm, I'm maximizing the gifts that God gave me and what I learned in school. All that bad shit is grown folk shit. But. You know, that's why the black race is so fucked up. You'll go teach somebody this, and when they learn it and master it and maximize it in their life, you tell them, that, that, ain't, that ain't what you're supposed to do. Why the fuck they teach it if they ain't what you're supposed to do? 
Why do they teach home ec if you don't supposed to make clothes? Why do they teach wood shop if you don't supposed to make your own uh, tables and shit? You think the nigga who make tables, he don't make his own? He just was smart enough to mass produce. I don't understand the logic in hating a creator when everything you buy was created by somebody. You must just hate me. You can't buy an iPhone unless a motherfucker make it. Do you hate that nigga? Well, why the fuck you on iPhone? The, the kids you drive. Do you hate the motherfuckers who make kids? Well, why you why you support them? But you won't support me. You seen my struggle. You know my story. How fucking evil are you? If you support every fucking body else, but don't support me, and you came and got me. You go to them. You went and bought that shit on your own. You came and got me. The fuck don't you understand about that? It's like going to get a dog, put him on a chain, starving him. You want to get the motherfucker. What you going to get him for if you ain't go get him to have the best life he can be? You go get a dog and expect him to meow? No, we ain't. We ain't adopt you to bark. We adopted you to meow. Shit don't make sense. What was your purpose? You know, people say, well, why you could have left? I've left hundreds of times. First time I got put out, I was nine years old. First time my daddy put me out, I was nine years old. Um, but where, where can you go when you don't have nobody? And and this is what I told them. You know, when they lied to me and told me, they'd tell me who my mother was when I was 18. I turned 18. And, uh, you know, the shit ruined my life. That's when I started sniffing heroin. And uh, it's just like... When they was like, um, we ain't gonna tell you who your mama is and all this shit. You know, just get the fuck out of our house. And my thing is this, why not let me go? They try to control me with, with nothing. So what I'm saying is, all right, that's cool. I don't wanna fucking be here. All right, and you don't want me here, right? Give me the information where I can find someone that's like me that will probably help me. No, they're not like that. They're like, you know what? If you don't stay here and take this misery like we are miserable, we ain't going to tell you shit. And even if you stay here, we ain't going to tell you shit. See, there was no option. Like, you know what? This nigga want to leave. We don't want him here. He don't think like us. He don't act like us. Here go your papers. Go on your merry way. There's none of that. It was no nah, nigga. Everything we can do nasty, we're going to do that shit to you since you don't want to be here. And we ain't going to never tell you nothing, even when your daughter gets sick or whatever. And for... You know, I mean, you know, I just got to live with it. And it's rough as shit out here doing everything yourself. And they know that. He know that. That's why he do it. Because that's what demons do. Godly people help you. Godly people. A godly person, if you working towards the right thing, a godly person, and, and y'all in agreement, a godly person going to say, you know what? Here's what's fair. All right? You know, here's what's fair. Uh, I apologize. Here's what's fair. Take this. Or what can we agree on? You know what I mean? That you think you might can. You know, at least get on your feet and, and go on your way and you have a blessed life and I'm going to have a blessed life. That's what godly people do. But you know what motherfucking demons do? Demons hold on to you. Demons tell lies about you. Demons separate you from your children. What type of grandparents uh, have a son and a granddaughter and they don't tell the son when their granddaughter has? Like me and my daughter, I, I just can't talk to her. She's too disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? I, I'll give you a for instance with her. Uh, Last time I saw her, she was in Verona, where I'm from, where she's not from. Man, she wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for me. Like, I would be here. I was here before her. But if I had not had sex with her mother, she wouldn't be here. So everything she has is is because of me. She doesn't realize that. Now, she would tell me, so there's you now two incidents. One time she stole something from me, and uh, I ain't even going to talk about that. But the second time, her, her car window was down. Now, I'm big in Verona. You know, my see my my adopted parents, they the type of people they don't only neighbors they know is them old motherfuckers that done been out there since they done been out there. They don't even know everybody on their block. You know, they those those type of people. I'm the opposite. I'm a community type person. I know everybody in the neighborhood by name. And I know their cars and I could probably tell you what's on that license plate. Maybe not the letters, but the numbers. I can tell you what number if I see a car number I say he live at fourteen oh eight or he live at thirteen twelve. That's how uh, connected with the community I am. They don't believe in that. They believe in fuck the community. I'm only worried about this house and this house only. They don't believe that what's connected to the community is connected to your house because your house lives in the community. They don't believe in empowering people. They like fuck everybody. You know, they gonna go to church, come on and, and fake it till they make it. Um, But here's, here's how my daughter and, and my dad, he believes anything she said. 
And she is a huge fucking liar. She has no friends. Everybody has ever known her uh, girlfriend. They don't. She just very disrespectful. And they. She talks about everybody. She get that shit from them. Well, anyway, uh, I was I was riding down. I want to say I was on Ralph I. And I'm big in Vermont, like I told you. I, I had 7,200 kids in my nonprofit out there. Uh, my daughter's never fed nobody in Vermont. Her mother lives in Vermont now, but nobody fucking knows her unless they know her connected to me. You ride it anywhere in Vermont, you might not hear everything nice about me. But you say, do you know this dude? Yeah, this is the dude bringing billions to Vermont. I ain't got no money, but I got influence, and the money is coming. Well, anyway, uh, somebody called me and was like, you know, I grew up. I grew up with all these people. You know, I, you know, I grew up with, and they got kids, and you know, I know their parents, the kids, the grandkids, everybody know me out there, motherfucker. Ain't nothing I can do them around, and I, I won't get caught doing. It. Put it that way. So, uh, somebody called me, said, "Man, it's raining outside, and uh, your daughter wonder down." So I said, right, "I'm gonna give her a call." So I, I gave her a call, and I said, "Um, mind it." Um, somebody called me and told me your window was down. You might want to roll that joint up. Oh, you, you down here spying on me? I, I can't wait to fucking move. I mean, uh, I'm going to talk to Papa now. I can't stand this motherfucker. You spying on me. I said, spying on you? Your window was I knew my goddamn window was down. I just hung up and blocked her. It was like, she just ruins my fucking day. And, she, and who knows what she told him? Because he will believe anything, even if it doesn't sound like my character. Um, what grandparents you know... Would, would never want their son in their daughter's life. That's how my, my, my people are like. Anytime my daughter, me and her had a rock relationship, I left her mama, so her mama always talked negative about me. And you know how that go over, but um, when my daughter would have some, usually if the mother and father aren't cool and the you know, grandparents and the grandkids like, the grandkids will usually, I mean, the grandparents will usually call the father and say, well, you know, you know at least you, you know, spend some time with